The Tomatis method is a pedagogical method used to improve the listening of a person whose hearing functions correctly. It works thanks to a device that causes musical contrasts by suddenly and unpredictably changing the timbre and intensity of the music. This effect will surprise the brain and trigger its attentional mechanisms. We say that the brain puts itself in the listening position. Sound is transmitted through air via the ear canal. It is also transmitted by vibration at the top of the headset. This vibration is called bone conduction. Bone conduction transmits the sound directly to the inner ear, thus preparing it to receive the sound transmitted through the eardrum. The switch to channel 2 causes the muscles of the ear to tense. Conversely, the switch back to channel 1 lets these muscles relax. Thus, the muscles of the ear are subjected to a gymnastic exercise. In this way, the stirrup muscle tenses and relaxes thanks to the tomatis effect, improving the regulation of the inner ear and playing a role of preparation. More generally, it is the entire auditory system that is stimulated by the sudden change of timbre and intensity. The vestibule and the cochlea have a fundamental role of providing energy to the brain. In the cochlea, high-frequency sounds stimulate the brain much more than low-frequency sounds. Channel 2 will strongly activate the lower part of the cochlear duct and thus favor the reception of high frequencies and their transmission to the brain. This transmission takes place through the transformation of the acoustic vibration that is perceived into electrical stimulation. The electrical message is transmitted to the auditory cortex and the peripheral cortical areas that are directly connected to the prefrontal cortex. The latter integrates and analyzes the information received. In return, this integrated information is directed back to the ear, favoring not only the perception of the acoustic information and the ability to focus on it, but also the improvement of motor programs concerning fine and gross motor functions. Thus, through this back and forth between the brain and the receptors in the inner ear, we can see that in reality, the ear is a sensory motor organ that plays a decisive role in our personal development. That is why the Tomatis method acts in a natural and non-intrusive manner on the auditory system and the brain. This leads to improvements in learning, attention, communication, reading, listening, sensory processing.